Welcome back to GWG, and I know I said I wouldn't show you this earlier, but I'm just going to do this now. I guess I, I said I wouldn't show you making the hammer, but I need to show you do this now. So I need some blocks of iron. I can use any block of uh, metal, as long as it's three of them. I'm going to take some smeltery blocks. Bam, now we've got a tool forge, and what it allows me to do is this. This! So I've got so many more tools to do now. And uh, the main one I want is this one. So we put. The, I uh, took some of the ruby that we've dug up, and some of the uh, peridot or whatever, and see if I like it because this is the side I'm smashing it with. And we will call this. Uh, let's just call it the Earth Slammer. And uh, look how much durability it has, guys. <laughs> oh, look at that. So I've got a tough rod which influences by 1.3. So the whole, this is multiplied by 1.3, and then that's got 550, but there's 8 stuff, and then there's 512, 512, so it's just, there's just a lot of stuff going in on here. And its attack is 3 hearts, which I believe is the exact same as my sword, and it does bonus damage versus the undead. So we're going to grab one of these, and do I have a diamond? No, I've got diamond, but... Uh, let's see. Do you want, let's put a diamond, ah, uh, do you want... No, I need that. I need that one diamond. I need that just that one diamond, guys. And let's see, we'll put the specter key down here. And now that we have this, I'm gonna go sleep, and then we'll start on a new day. And we're going to build that up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and pick some apples then. All right. So I'm going to do this mountain thing. And I think I'm going to do the entrance right where that lava is. <laughs> Which means i got to get rid of the lava. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of those time-lapse things. Because the time-lapse... Oh, let me see. Time-lapse thing worked out really, really, really well last time. So we're going to do that. Alright. So we'll start this in three, two, one, And let's... And wait for a timer to go to one point. Let's do this right about 228 
got no particular desire for any care right now. Alright, so we put it there. I don't like how dark it is. And we need to get our chest. And whoop! So all of that goes in there. And we pop our generator there. Let's just put this here so it doesn't look... Nah, do it the other way. I never like things that are just floating, so we're just going to have that. See, that looks nice. At least it looks better. Alright, so we put things in the top. Puts it through here. This is going to grind them out. And we will be getting things on the bottom, so let's try that out. Alright, so I uh, got this generator going. And I forgot to get flint, but I don't care. And we got the lead going. And as you can see, it's slowly going. Oh, it's going at 20 reds. Okay, so this is producing more energy than this is consuming. Okay, that's nice. So that builds up a little bit of a buffer, I believe the word is. I know I'm going to anger people by not having flint in there, so I'm just going to pop up. Whoop. Yep. <clears throat> Now, obviously, you could just pop gravel into that thing and it'll start making flint, I'm really, really sure. But, you now let's just toss that in. Where are the other gravel? There we go. Yeah! So, there we go. Now, this will slowly give this bonus. Whoa! There's a couple bonus. All right, there we go. So we're now making gold at the same time we're making fled. The reason why I'm making fled, or lead if I was actually speaking English correctly, is because I want to have... Here, let's grab this. Is uh, This is... Uh, well, I guess this, this is making more energy than I need at the moment. I could easily... I'm going to pop in a block of coal. I should... How much is that going to make? Oh, that's probably going to make 100,000. All right, so that should fill up both while this is running. And if I do a lead-based thing called a... It's, it's going to be an energy... It's leadstone energy cell. That's the name. It's going to be a leadstone energy cell. So what it does is that it just stores energy. That's all I need to do. So I'm going to build that and slap it on. We'll see how it works. All right, and with this, we have the leadstone energy cell frame. That was the recipe over there, and I believe, yeah, I need to make, wait, what? I make electrum. Silver and gold. I believe if I am correct, do I have any silver? Okay, I've got some gold. Oh, and I do believe I, whoop, stop lagging. I do believe I have some silver. So we do have some. Uh, I could just combine those two dusts together. But, yeah, I do want a good idea. I could chuck them in there. It'll make Electrum by itself. But let's just go and do over here. All right? So we need that to make the actual energy thing. All right, let's do that right now. And as you can see, that coal block is running off nicely. Got this running with both. And that's almost done. Well, that's pretty good. So one coal block will be able to juice up a lot of stuff. But we want more energy, so let's do it. All right, we grab our Electrum Redstone Conductance Coil. I do believe I have some copper. And Leadstone Energy, and it could hold up to 400,000 energy. So the saw, so the, uh, I want to say saw, but I know it's not, but uh, the mill and the sag mill and the generator itself can each hold 100,000 redstone flux and unfortunately for right now that's just a little bit not enough so this can hold 400,000 redstone flux which is exactly what we need and I think these things show feathers now so we can just easily pop down see this is done this will keep its energy when I've got it harvested and we can just get that out of the way and let's see left right we could do this and orange means to output and blue means input so if i grab this you can see that it's outputting its energy towards there so we grab this pop back 
So this is going to output its energy towards the seg mill, and this is going to accept energy from the bottom. As you can see, this is starting to lose redstone flux because it's filling this up with redstone flux. And this time, I could put in two coal blocks, I believe. Yep. So it's 200,000. That is 100,000. This could you and this can output 200 at each side. And do you want? I'm just gonna check both in. I'll probably lose a little bit. Oh well. So bam, there we go. And as it gains charge, not only can I see it at the top of the screen up here, but also I can see it actually have a bar, which is pretty cool. I really like that fact. And you can see the redstone block I had to use to make it, and the lead in the corners with the glass here. And it's it's just this is really nice. Ad, uh, it's a really great mod. And of course, I could like you know switch it up. So if I need to input, output, or the yellow is to uh, nothing, so I don't can't put input or output. So I can place it down without messing up any of the systems. In case if I have a large system going on, but now I've got the leadstone energy cell. It's gaining power, and now I could pop a whole bunch of freaking ores into here. But this part right here, this is a. Uh, this is going to need to be run down a bit. Like I, I'm going to run out of flint eventually, right? And I don't have to keep on stocking it up. That, that'd just be really annoying. So I'm going to need to have to put something right here in order to have that actually, you know, running continuously without having to worry if I'm going to lose any of the bonuses or not. So we're going to do something that does that. Cash! It's the cash. Cache. It is the cache. So what we do is we, uh, this, if you've ever played Minecraft and you've heard of the Better Barrel mod, which is the Just Under the Barrel mod, also known as Jabba, you would know that you have the Better Barrels right here, which you could hold up to 64 stacks of a single object. And it's really good if you just want to have a lot of storage of just a single object. Well, this does about 10,000 items. So, uh... My brain's not working right now, so 64 multiplied by 64, I can't really think about right now, but it'll probably pop on. Here, just give me a sec. I'm actually going to my phone right now because it has a calculator on it. Bam, 64 multiplied by 64 equals... So that equals 4,096. So half the capacity of the cache. So that's why I'm going with caches instead of Jabba's. And uh, even though Jabba, I'm pretty sure in the long run might be able to hold more, that causes... that's just a lot of stress that I don't need. So, I got the flint, I'll get gravel, let's just get a buttload of gravel, I was going to use this for the road over at the farm, but let's just get this out of the way, and I believe if I go over here and slap this down right here, I can pop my flint in, and configure this to pull... There, 64. There we go. So there we have it. So if I pop this in, it will constantly fill this flint up, and I don't have to worry about it. And I could toss in up to 10,000 pieces of flint if I want. So there we go. This is where all of my flint is going, and I could just chuck all of my ores in here, and they'll just juice it out pretty quickly. So now that I have that, that is what I'm going to do. Where these chests, uh, do you want... Fuck it, I'll do it next episode. Thanks for watching DWG. I'm Damien Darkside. And if you like the content, I know it's a little bit sloppy today. I'm going to have to do a bit of editing. Move down there. Uh, we're going to be able to get that done. So, thanks for watching DWG. And if you like the content and you want to see more and my struggles to become a better YouTuber, subscribe. And we'll be able to get all of this lovely adventure going. And we'll see you next time. Can you tell her this is unscripted? God, I suck. Bye!